Hello there guys. Today in this video I'm going to explain how to make a metazapine suspension fluid um, for tapering metazapine. This will probably work with other substances as well but for this video I'm specifically referring to metazapine. So here's the things that you'll need. Um, oh, before I do. Um, so this, this, um, this will work for, as I say, this will work for metazapine. Um, it might work with other things, but the important thing to note is that uh, it's not 100% accurate. Um, there will be like some small, you know, loss, um, but it's more accurate than like chopping up a pill into like eight different pieces. Um, so, in my opinion, this is what I used to taper from metazapine, and it's what I'd use again, and um, I think it's safer than just chopping something up. Some people end up, like, shaving parts of a pill. Again, that's just a bad idea. In my opinion, it's better to do this. Um, so, with that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and show you. So, the things you'll need are... You'll need like some water, so there's like 10 milliliters there, um, precisely 10 milliliters. You'll need a container, this is a child proof container, to store the suspension in. Um, there's a container there. You'll need your pills, or your metazapine in this case. Um, these are 15 milligrams, so You'll need a suspension fluid, so um, like they sell a fluid called Aura Plus, but it's kind of expensive, at least it is for me. So I just use maple syrup, it does the job. Um, this will keep for like up to seven days. You could technically go longer, but it starts to taste a bit different. So I'm not sure how stable it would be, but seven days is pretty safe. And it's what I've used in my taper it worked for me so and you'll also need um, a oral syringe so that's our oral syringe now the solution the suspension that I'm gonna make here will be um, 20 milliliters of total fluid with one 15 milligrams of um, of metazapine. Um, now you'll also need uh, mortar and pestle. Um, I'd recommend a ceramic one. Now, so to begin, so. So to begin with, you take one of your pills, um, and this will be 15 milligrams, right? So you place 15 milligrams in your mortar and pestle, and you grind it up. Oops. Crush it and crush it and grind. Once that's done, you prepare your fluid, your suspension fluid. So for this, I'm going to use um, so I'm going to use ten millimeters, ten milliliters of water. So there's the ten milliliters of water, and I'm going to use ten milliliters of maple syrup. See if I can do it with this. Oops. That's about right. So 
So now we have 20 milliliters of um, fluid in there. And so this would be 15 milligrams of metazapine divided by 20 milliliters. So each milliliter, this is a one milliliter syringe, oral syringe. So one milliliter of this fluid, once this is prepared correctly, would yield uh, um, 0.75 milligrams of metazapine. So already that's below a gram. Now obviously if you was gonna try and cut one of these pills into 0 0.75 milligram pieces, that would be very, very difficult. It would be, it, you wouldn't be able to do it like reliably. So even though this isn't perfect, it's still more reliable than if you was to try and do that. So that's why I think it's a good way to do it. Um, personally, I would jump before a milligram. I think a milligram is where I jumped when I tapered. Um, I tapered around a milligram or two to a milligram or two, I can't quite remember. But um, but yeah, so you just, um, you'd add your metazapine um, powder to the solution that you've just prepared, the suspension fluid you've just prepared. Taking care not to um, lose any. Of course, there will be some powder that you, you know, there's a small amount that may be lost or whatever. So, it's not perfect, but it's better than shaving parts off a pill or whatever. So the thing with this uh, suspension fluid is, as I say before, I'd only use it for up to seven days. And you'd want to shake it very well every time you use it. And you'd store it in the fridge. And so every time you use it, you'd shake it vigorously. And you should be good for seven days at least. Um, and so now, there's 15 milligrams of metazapine in this entire bottle. So if we take, take out one milli, milliliter using this syringe, that is 0 0.75 milligrams in this syringe of metazapine. So you can taper it in a effective and safe way. So that's basically it. That's as easy as it is. It's not, it's not too difficult. Obviously, if you wanted more metazapine, you'd add more pills. So if you wanted 1.5 milligrams per one milliliter syringe, then you'd use two pills um, and 20 milliliters of solution. Or if you use 10 milliliters, so five plus five, five of water, five of maple syrup, that'd be 10 milliliters total. Um, and you could do whatever, you could do, you know, four pills. You know, you could have it so that it's, you know, three milligrams per milliliter, four milligrams per milliliter, whatever. You could even go, with this, of course, it goes down to 0 0.1 milliliters. So at 0 0.1 milliliters with the solution that I've just made here, that would be 0 0.075 milligrams. So you can go really low with this method of, um, with uh, tapering and it's pretty safe I've done it myself um, I, done it, I did it effectively and plenty of other people have done it effectively and you don't have to screw around with chopping up pills or whatever because um, that's a nightmare so if you found this video helpful feel free to give it a like or if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. See you around.